Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and uh, I thought today I would do some fan art, kind of. I'm going to draw like a Splatoon version of myself. I'm not going to do an inkling though. I'm going to do myself as like an angler fish, because I think they're neat. Um, and I like how uh, in Splatoon... Everybody's kind of like, like the NPCs are other like aquatic creatures, like Annie as an anemone. anemone. <laughs> so I guess I'm not going to be an inkling. I'm going to be like more like an NPC style character, but that's okay. I think they're neat. Like anglerfish. So I think rather than um, I was gonna draw my I can still do it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll still draw myself with my little hat. Also, I'm using uh, a different brush than I normally do. Kind of wanted like a dry brush. Let's see here. I usually draw myself in my suit. Maybe I'll do something different. Also, I'm kind of like working Kingdom Hearts esque shoes. I might change those. I don't know. <laughs> right. I'm going to go a little bigger here. I think for fun, let's do like long sleeves. I also got this really cool book bag recently that has um, eyeballs on all over it, but I think, yeah, uh, I don't know if I'll, I, nah, I'm not going to show that. Uh, let's do 
like a long shirt with stripes because that's kind of like one of my standard garbs. You know what? Maybe I won't do. Maybe I won't do the long sleeves here. That's not. Long sleeves doesn't say anglerfish to me. I guess so. I don't need to look like 100% like an anglerfish. I just need to kind of give that feel, you know. I just wish there was something like right there, something more heavy. Maybe I could like, um, this, if this is like a scarf, maybe I could like have the the knot in the back here. And these could be like the little angler fins. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> this game um, really puts me in mind of uh, the design elements of Billy Hatcher. And I used to do fan characters for that. I just like that kind of like, they're animals, but it's like implied through the clothing rather than like them just dressing up in animal costumes. Though Billy Hatcher was getting kind of borderline animal costumes, but I liked how the hair was like the, the beaks and the, um, oh, what do you call it? The... The beaks and like the crest of the chickens and stuff. I thought that was cool. Go. I think that was real cute. Let's rip a tiny bit there. Same with this. Actually, I do want to be in there. Except I don't want to be in my commission folder. I want to be in 2015, and we'll call this Splatoon Me. And let's. I should mention I don't have a Wii, <laughs> so I haven't actually played Splatoon, but I've been watching a lot of other people play it, and I got a real kick out of it, so I thought this would be a fun thing to do. So yeah, I wanted to try to kind of like do this drawing a little differently than I normally do, like ink it and everything, so... 
Ooh, pardon my yawn. Let's see if I can find it. I kind of like that brush. There it goes. Uh, the only thing I don't like is... Here, there we go. Okay. Correction up, I think. Okay, let's take out the 22. There we go. So, what can I talk about here? I actually just got done watching a movie called Would You Rather. It's a horror film. I watch a lot of horror when I'm working and being a bum. But, uh, it was okay. Um, it was like borderline torture porn kind of flick. I, you know, it doesn't, I know some people are like really like, ooh, about the torture porn stuff. It doesn't really bother me. Um, in fact, for this movie, if that's what it was trying to be, I actually think that, um, they could have gone harder. With some of the the violence and stuff in the film, I actually thought like a lot of the characters died too easily, like too unrealistically, too abruptly, and I kind of oh that's a really cool brush. It's kind of hard to work with though. I wish I had some better. Dry brushes. I'll have to kind of go on a little like dry brush hunt or something. For now, I'll just switch back to my pencil. But anyway, yeah, like there, I just thought like some of the character deaths, like the film is not supposed to be realistic at all. And I don't want to give away the whole plot, but basically, it's a very deadly game. A very deadly version of the children's game, would you rather? And, um, I just felt like whenever they would do some violent thing, they would just die. Like, even if the violent thing didn't really relate to um, If it didn't even relate that much to the, uh, the act that they did, like characters were like having random heart attacks and just like passing out and stuff. I I don't know. It was, and then they, then another character would come over and just be like, "They're dead," and I'm like, "Did you check?" Like, <laughs> I don't know. I felt like they were dropping like flies, and I don't like these teeth. They're not very angular to me. Well, let me draw my face, and then, uh, I'll do, like, the surrounding stuff. There was also kind of, like, very little explanation on why they were doing this stuff in the first place. I mean, there was, like, a really obvious reason, but it's, like, how did this all Again, did you just decide at the beginning of time? Because it seemed like this was like a game that had been going on through this like one family for generations. It was, it was strange. I also um. Okay, so here's a little spoiler. The guy who's making all these people play this like horrible truth or dare type game via violence. He has a son. Um, who's actually played by the actor who plays the penguin in the series Gotham. This was like one of his roles before he got on to Gotham. But anyway, um, and the guy who's holding this says to his son, 
you, you know, you mind yourself. We don't want an incident like what happened last year. And I was like, oh, more of that, please. And they kind of imply he probably attacked one of the guests the year before, but like they didn't really ever talk about it again much at all. <laughs> there were just like little things like that where I was like, this is kind of a cool idea, but I want, I would like to know more. Pleased to be informing, Emmy. I know, that's not the kind of film it was. The film was definitely like a pointless violence kind of movie. <laughs> With like a very thin moral coating on the outside. Like, don't do this because of this kind of a thing. Yeah, I've actually uh, been kind of running out of horror films to watch lately. I've uh, kind of picked the barrel clean a little bit here. At least on, like, Netflix. We recently got Amazon Prime, so I kind of have to start going through there. <sighs> okay, but I have to go back to this <laughs> point. So... Spoilers, in this film there's a part where a guy has to blow his own hand off with a firecracker. Um, it's actually like a small stick of dynamite. But anyway, he does it, he blows his hand off, and then he just has a major heart, he has a major heart attack and dies. And I was like, okay, does he have a history? I mean, he wasn't like an old guy or anything. I mean, I could understand him dying from like blood loss or shock. Maybe that's what they were implying by saying he had a heart attack. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I When he died, I was like, oh. I kind of felt like there also should have been more games. Like, I need to watch Saw. Everybody tells me I'd like Saw, so... And I still haven't watched it, but I'm one of those people that if I'm going to watch one, I want to watch the whole damn series. Even if, like, the later ones are really, really bad. Like, Children of the Corn <laughs> is a good example. Or, like, uh, somebody might, like, crucify me for saying this, but um, Friday the 13th. <laughs> I felt like those ones just kept getting... Or was it Halloween? Yeah, they both kind of... They both kind of spent the nickel on that one, huh? They just kept going and going and making more, and... After a while, they were just like, yeah. With Saw, I'm kind of like, okay, let's, let's see what little gamesies will keep happening and stuff, and... Kind of a similar premise, actually. I, I sort of wonder if... Uh, the guy who did... Uh, what would you... Would you rather? <laughs> I almost said, what would you do? Uh, would you rather if he... Uh, if he was, like, kind of trying to weasel his way into that sort of genre. I, I hate to call it torture porn because I don't know, there's something about using the word porn and torture that's weird to me. <laughs> but I get why. I'm not I'm not naive to it. The band should be a little more peaked like that. I'll have to see Saw to see if I would consider that. Saw is more like light 
temperature porn to me. I feel like that's like a more sanitized version for like your typical, you know, like moviegoers or whatever. Or it's like hostile. Yeah, no, hostile's like getting pretty meaty there. <laughs> Not a romantic date night. Oh, it feels good to just be sitting here drawing, just a little, a little fun drawing, nothing I have to look at references for. Well, I looked at um, pictures of angler fishes. <laughs> There's nothing where I have to stick to like a model sheet or be really like nitty gritty accurate. I like it. Just for fun. Funsies. Ah, so Dave broke his toe, <laughs> which is something I keep bringing up, but uh, I don't really have anything else to talk about. He, we went and got his x-rays done this morning, and it's looking less like he broke it and more like maybe um, he somehow knocked it out of position, so we may... Uh, they may have to reset it, which from what's been explained to us is going to be sadly worse than if he had just broke the damn thing. <laughs> because they're going to have to like numb it and pop it back to where it needs to be. Rogue toe is rogue. Oh, you know what? Instead of feathers? Oh my gosh. Let's do, um, seaweed. Oh, look at the smartness. It's just flying off the handle. It kind of doesn't make any sense because, like, anglerfish are down where there really is no seaweed. <laughs> You might get some, like, deep-sea plants or whatever, but they don't look like this. You get, like, plants and whatnot that can live off of sea vents. I was just thinking of the Annie in Splatoon. Um, she has, like, a little fish that swims through her hair, which is not, um... Not really possible if they're above ground. I, I don't even know what the world of Splatoon is supposed to be. Is it like the future? Is it just like a fantasy round? Probably fantasy, knowing Nintendo. They're just like, yeah, mushrooms and pipes and whatever. It's cool, bruh. So, yeah, there's the seaweed. Look how cute that is! That's very cute. I'm I'm the cleverest little pip that there has ever been. Let's go like that. Okay. Ah, 
Oh, what are the other films that I watched recently? I watched The Homesman, which was very good. And I got the book, too, because I want to read the book now. Um, I've kind of been into sort of like western settle in the prairie kind of books and films lately. I, I recently reread all of Little House on the Prairie, which is one of my favorite book series. Um, weirdly enough, I'm not really a big western fan or anything, but I just, there's something about the way she writes, and it just, it's, they're pleasant books for the most part, and I, I really admire her hard work and everything. Um, and her family's hard work. So, really enjoy those books, and I just got done rereading them. They're quick reads, so I got through them in about like a week and a half. And, uh, and I saw this film, The Homesman, which was about women out in the unsettled prairie west of the United States, and they go batshit crazy and <laughs> no it's not nice to say but I they kind of lose it these three women have serious depression postpartum it uh postpartum psychosis that kind of stuff just general wackalooniness and um this other woman takes it upon herself to you know take them back to Iowa which was one of the main borders of the uh, Prairie West at the time. It was kind of like the edge of civilization. But yeah, it was a really, really good film. I really liked it a lot and uh, made me want to read the book. So I got the book. I think that's how movies based on books should be. I think they should like get you into the series. That's how I got into Lemony Snicket. I went and saw the movie and really I really got a kick out of the film. A lot of people are like meh about the movie. I get it. It's not like a goddamn masterpiece or anything but it's pretty good. I just like the aesthetic of the film a lot. I like this kind of retro neo noir -y kind of steampunky thing. Um, now I know lots of folks I'm liking this boot top here I know lots of folks uh, have real strong feelings about you know uh book versus movie, but I've never been, I just consider them like separate entities. Except Batman. <laughs> the other reason I give Batman a lot of flack is because there's like some really awesome plot lines in the comics that I haven't really ever seen presented. Like, can you imagine like a movie based on Paul Tim's, um, Paul Tim and Bruce Tinney. <laughs> Paul Tim and Bruce Tinney. Nice. Paul Denny and Bruce Tim's Mad Love would be really cool. Like, I don't know if you could stretch it out into a whole movie, and it's already kind of been done with the animated series, but still, there's just, like, a lot of plot lines in the DC comics I'd like to see, and they kind of just always write new ones, and I get it, I understand why, like, there's this idea of like, well, everybody's seen that, or everybody's read that, but it's like, no, no, they really haven't. <laughs> Most people don't read those comics, especially the older ones. They could do like a whole movie series on No Man's Land or something. It'd be awesome. It'd be like half superhero stuff, half survive the earthquake apocalypse. You know, it'd be so cool. I don't know. I just... I have my little wants, my little needs. I'm hoping that these, um, the new, this new series of the DC Expanded Universe films will kind of kickstart 
for lack of a better word, these um, some newer um, some new movies based on some classic ideas. My neighbor's moving out. That's why there's some like noise in the background. There's like sounds of carts and boxes uh, banging around. Bit of a weak edge there. Oh, that's my doggie. She's up and about. Oh, she's shaking her head. I don't know what she's doing. I'm scared to look. She's probably just being a good dog. Okay. I can't wait to listen to my mom describe this drawing to me over the phone when she tries to tell me how much she likes it because she's going to be super cute about it. She's going to be like, I like fish, honey, with the seaweed hat. My mom's cute. And I'll be like, oh, mom, don't make me wreck a noob. No, she's cute. She's cute as a button. I want a hundred. Okie dokie. Let me give myself an adorable chin. By the way, this thing's not a nose ring. I have like a dot on the end of my nose. I'm not sure how I ended up with it. I can't remember if it's a birthmark. Uh, I had a really bad sunburn on the end of my nose when I was a kid. I mean really bad. Like a huge chunk of like skin came off. It was awful. But I sort of noticed that dot ever since then. So I've always wondered if it was some sort of a scar from the, the sunburn. I don't know. It's a dot. Dot on my nose. And, uh, oh yeah, the teeth. I was like, what am I doing here?
Man, I don't know. I think it's the front of the hat. Doesn't look right to me. I think it needs to be more like that. There we go, that feels more reasonable. I don't want like a bunch of teeth blocking my my money maker, my face. Not really called money maker. You never see me anyway. <laughs> Sometimes I get on the webcam in the live stream. feel more like tusks. I'm trying to think of like anklers usually have like like a really big tooth on the side. Maybe I don't need them on the top. I think it'll close in my face too much. Let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. We'll be happy with our decision. Just close in some of this. By the way, I'm still working in black, but I have a filter over top of it. Because I am a laze. Nope, nope, nope. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. So now we have to color it. And uh, I guess we'll do that on the next video. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it on the next one. Alrighty. I will be back and we will color it. Bye bye.